Today, we're going to talk a little bit about when you'd be better off stripping the paint right down to bare metal and when it's perfectly okay to paint over the existing finish. In this example, you can see there's an original layer of sealer or primer, there's an original paint job, there is a few layers of thick primer, there's another paint job, red right there, and this could be a layer of clear or another layer of sealer, then we have a layer of paint, and finally a few layers of clear. So it's very thick, and if you were to DA or sand out a scratch, you'd end up leaving a divot. And so for those reasons, it's very difficult to work with a thick finish like that, and you would be better off stripping this panel. Another example of paint that should be stripped is where the surface was not prepared correctly and then just painted over. In this situation, we can see that it's shiny and this is an aftermarket tailgate, but it was not prepared correctly. It was not scuffed or, or sanded and you can see the paint just flakes right off of there. So in this situation, it'd be better to just strip it rather than paint it and then have it just blow right off. Finally, if the paint has cracks such as crow's feet or it's paint checked or something similar, it should be stripped or those patterns will show up in the finish. One common method is to use an inexpensive grinder like this from Harbor Freight with some 36 or 40 grit on it. And we're going to keep it at a low speed so that we avoid heat and just grind the paint off. And you can see it just flaking right off. Another quick way to remove paint is using a Bondo hog with 36 or 40 grit on it. If all you have is a DA, you can use that too, but you'll have to use some pretty rough paper. I have some good fresh 80 grit on here so we'll see how fast that can work. One other option is paint stripper and I just picked this up at the local hardware. You spread it on, you can either use a roller or a brush and you let it set for 10 or 15 minutes and then you should see it wrinkle up. But let's see how this works. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And in this situation, it really doesn't. You should be able to just go like that and it just should just wrinkle up and come right off. But in this situation, we waited 10 or 15 minutes, it didn't wrinkle up, and it didn't work. So for this panel, the best option to me was a grinder with 36 grit.
After finishing up with the hog and the DA, this panel is ready to be primed, blocked, and finish sanded. Now, let's look at a finish that's perfectly okay to paint right over. Here we have some older paint, older factory paint, but it's in great condition. No paint checks, crow's feet, it doesn't flake, peel, or chip. We can go ahead and DA sand this with some 220 or 240. And now this area right here is ready to be painted. We don't need any primer. We can spray right over the top. For any given situation, it's good to try various methods to see what works the fastest for you and to end up using that method. I hope you enjoyed this video on when to strip a panel and how to go about doing that. And if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.